let's take a look at how to access your Productive Computing FileMaker hosting account. After we have received and uploaded your files, you'll receive an email like this with instructions on how to access your system. First, let's discuss how to access your database. Please note that this URL is the server link. The server link can be modified to access various areas in your system. This will be discussed in a moment. The first URL provided will bring you to the live FileMaker file. Ensure that you have FileMaker Pro running and simply select the link. Alternatively, you could copy this link and paste it into your browser. Again, make sure FileMaker is running. To open the URL remotely, simply copy the link. Then navigate to FileMaker. Select File, Open Remote. Paste the link in the Network File Path field. Then change the protocol to FMNET colon with only one forward slash. Then select Open. If you requested a Dropbox link to your backup files, you can find the URL here. Next, let's take a look at Instant Web Publishing, or IWP. If your database is IWP or web compatible, you'll need to modify the server link. Copy the server URL Change the protocol to HTTP colon and remove everything after ProductiveComputing.com. Then add slash default to the end. You'll be directed to the default IWP login page. Enter the database, username, and password. If you're a developer, you may have received a link to the FileMaker Server Administration Console. This console is designed for developers that need to perform maintenance on databases, like to upload, close, open, or download database files. Note that downloading database files is only available in FileMaker 12 or later. To access the FileMaker Administration Console, open this link. Notice that the link is the server URL with the HTTP protocol and colon 16000 at the end. Select this button to download the application, then save the file and run the installation. Please note that Java needs to be installed on your machine. Your login credentials for the administration console are found here. If you have any further questions, then please contact us via email, phone, or visit ProductiveComputing.com.